haven't I went, uh, I went met her but yeah. I should have been sampling her music. She has, right. she, she has amazing music. You know. I know, yeah. right? And she's really with it. Dana, if you're, if you're on Zoom right now, can you hear me? <laughs> Dina, if you're on Zoom right now, can you hear me? Hi, yeah, I can hear you. How there you? you go. Finally, finally. We've been waiting to host you <laughs> for the longest time. Oh, thank you so much for having me on the show. <laughs> I wish I was be there in life, not just online. <laughs> I know, you know, you know us guys here back here. We've just been like, Dina, this Mzungu from Uganda, we need to meet her. We need to, we've been seeing your videos and all that. And we have to look for your manager just to have you here. And that is what us DJs do here. Yeah, I'm so excited. It's actually my first time to be on Kenyan TV, so I'm very excited. Oh, wow. That, that means a lot to us. And thanks so much for honoring us. So quick question, because I'm sure many people want to know who Dina is. Who is this Mzungu from Uganda? What kind of music does she play? Because this is her very first time she's appearing on a Kenyan TV. So Dina, tell us a brief, just brief history about yourself. And uh, were you born in Uganda or did you just uh, decide to come and have a life in Uganda? No, I'm actually born and raised in Germany. Um, I came to Uganda the first time in 2013. And I came there just to travel and see the country. And I have been doing music my whole life. So since I was there already, of course, I was very interested in the um, Ugandan music scene or in the East African music scene in general. And um, yeah, I had an opportunity to meet uh, some producers and um, my label, my manager today, um, who gave me the opportunity to just record something uh, in Uganda, which was in the first place fun <laughs> and suddenly turned out into a music career, which I didn't expect. Tell me that you never used to sing from uh, way back, you know, before you came to Uganda. Excuse me? You used to sing before you came to Uganda or you just started your music career in Uganda? I used to sing since I'm a child. I'm doing music, but I have never done it on a professional level. I just um, have been playing in different bands, you know. I have been a lot on, on stage, but um, not like in the purpose of just making it professionally. Okay, great. And a uh, quick one. How is it working for you in Uganda? You know, doing music in Uganda and it's not your home country. How do, how are people, uh, how, how do people take you? Like, do they, do they appreciate your music and your genre? Um, they, they actually do, which I'm so grateful for. Because when I started, you know, um, I just found this amazing opportunity for me to um, experience the industry and get to know so many talented artists in Uganda and the producer. I could see like how are things done in East Africa. You know, the music is very different from where I, from where I came from or from the Western pop music in general. So it has been such an amazing journey and I have been meeting so many talented, good people, um, and I was able to work with them. So uh, I'm grateful for that. And when I released my first, the first song, we just dropped it online on my Facebook page. And I didn't expect anything, you know, I was just like, who knows me? I'm, I'm nobody. So I just dropped that song and I woke up the next morning and things just started to, uh, go wild and the response was really huge and um until today i cannot really believe what happened <laughs> i mean uh, your career is really picking up because even us guys here are uh, fans and we're listening to your music back here that means you're doing a great job and you should continue doing it so do you speak the um, do you speak the native language back there do you, do you just speak English or do you speak the, do they call it Baganda or what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I, speak I, Uganda I, speak there. Yeah. I speak, I speak uh, from Luganda. When I started singing in, in Luganda, I actually didn't even speak it. Um, I learned through the music and with the music. So um, in between, uh, I have been trying other languages and um, some in Kiankole, which is a language 
based in Uganda. I have been mixing some Swahili into my songs. Um, although my, Swahili, my speaking Swahili is not yet where I wanted to, like I cannot speak that well, but I can sing it. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm still trying to learn everything that I can sing. <laughs> Hey, that is very nice. So guys at home, I'm sure you're wondering who is this person we're talking about. Just that is in case you've not seen her on YouTube or on uh, any of the local channels. I'm going to be playing, or rather Milton is going to be playing one of her songs for you to see exactly who we are talking about and how exactly she performs. So this is a song by Dina all the way from Uganda. I'm going to play Swahili, uh, the Swahili one. The it's Swahili. called uh, Milele. Yeah. Milele. So listen to Milele by Dina. All right. <laughs> I'm talking to mm -hmm. right here on Zoom. It's Dina all the way from Uganda. She's a Mzungu who can sing in Swahili. Some of like us can't even speak fluently in Swahili. I feel, I feel like talking to her. She's a Mongolia since the, since we started the <laughs> I interview. wish I could. So, uh, actually, <laughs> not yet not, there. Uh, listen to this but song. I'm uh, Dina, you're such a, an amazing soul. Absolutely. And she has great music. And you're pretty as well, Dina. Yeah, so big shout out to you. Big shout out to your music. Big shout out to everyone who supports your music. You're going too far. Too, too far. Yeah. There you go, Dina. My DJ likes your music a lot, and she, uh, he thinks you're pretty as well. I don't think Dina is pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dina is so pretty. I know. He, he thinks he thinks you're quite pretty. So, Dina, uh, probably throwing a question out there to you from the fact that you're pretty. I'm sure people would like to know: Are you in a relationship? Are you taken? Are you single? Are you in an entanglement? I'm, I'm the first fan of that answer. So of I'm course. Waiting. <laughs> um, I would say let's 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 say I'm married to my music. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said. I said I'm married to my music. You're married to music. That means you are single. Yay! <laughs> jackpot. What a jackpot. jackpot. That, <laughs> makes, that makes my DJ very happy right Dooley now. Really amazing gift in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Dina, uh, there's a song you did with Chameleon, and I know you've done uh, many other collabs. How was that for you? Oh, it, it's just uh, awesome. Um, the first collab I did was with the late radio Mose and, and Weasel. And um, that is such a beautiful song until, until now. I'm so happy I had the opportunity to actually uh, work with them. And I also worked with Jose Chameleon on a video, not yet on a song. I'm still hoping <laughs> we're going to manage that as well, because um, I remember when I first came to Uganda in 2012, he was like, 
um, the songs he did, I mean, still all of his songs are great, but uh, I remember I listened to his songs so much and it was one of the big inspiration why I actually started to do music in, in Uganda. So I would really be happy if we could manage to actually work on the song, not just the video. Great. So um, I, I, I don't know if I know your manager, but there I know very many people. Who's the current, who's the currently managing you? It's called Tough and Tough, and the manager of the is uh, called Bashir. He oh. has been managing me since uh, 2014, and uh, we have been going this journey together, and they have really been doing a great job. Oh, great. Yeah, because he's really doing a good job on you, and I think that's how we even got to know to know you and check out your music. Kozuku, music, I mean, your music is starting to enter into Kenya, Pole Pole. And that brings us to the song that you released very recently, Tokota. I think that's your current, your latest song, right? Yes, it has just been released uh, like two weeks ago, on the 15th two, of July. Two weeks ago, two, so three weeks it's ago. really fresh, yeah. very new. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell, me, tell me more about the song and what inspired the song Tokota. Um, I think when I wrote this song, um, I was currently in the mood that I didn't want to sing about so many serious things, you know, I just wanted to have a song where people can dance nicely to it, you can have fun with it, it brings a, a lot of energy and a good feeling, and um, I love dancing. Mm -hmm. So that song was supposed to be a, a good dance song. And we shot the video in February when yeah. I was in Uganda. And I had really great dancer on the set. And all the set was just uh, really nice. So I really like listening to the song. Every time I listen to it myself, I just dance and go crazy. <laughs> nice. It's, it's such a club bang. And I think yeah. the DJ, you have it here. So Actually, I, I, I wanted to start the song with Nikam, you want a producer. No, it's for our guest today. So hey, it's, it's you new, can't play it's music, you yeah know? it's bpm 133 and that's where i started from you know oh so I yeah actually i wanted to pray to, to pray it to play it yeah really <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah <laughs> definitely we'll be playing that song in a few uh, and i think we can't keep up for so long because this is zoom you know how zoom business is working mm -hmm. but now uh dina before i let you go i'd just like to know how is it in uh uganda with this covid 19 going on how is it for you as an artist is it affecting you um, has it given you time and enough time to work on your music and content creation and all uh, actually, um, coincidentally, I flew out of Uganda to visit my family in Germany just five days before they locked down everything. So I basically got stuck <laughs> in Germany because um, uh, airport is still locked down. Uh, things are just stopping. Um, currently, for us as artists, I mean, the whole entertainment industry is down, you know. Some of us trying to do some online concerts or things like that, but um, it's it's hard to to maneuver through the whole whole situation right now. Um, I'm trying to use the time and produce music and just write music, you know, um, trying to see it like a little time out, you know, from all the craziness that we usually go through and. Um, concentrate on the on the important things and i just hope that things become better and can be normal one day maybe we find a medicine soon or a cure or something like that <laughs> yeah great i know uh, it's difficult for us back here as well but i know i think it's time for all of us back at home of course and even you in in uganda just to reflect and try to do maybe even different things, try now to strategize on post-COVID yeah. uh, things, yeah? Yeah. how you're going to work out your career and things like that. Yeah. So, Dina, of course, we appreciate you so much and thanks for taking so much time to be with us right here on Zoom. But